Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Israel, aka the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to all the sincere Akim and Akwath who do subscribe to this truth. A hearty shalom to the men out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges, preaching and teaching in truth of sincerity, risking their lives and risking their freedom, now more so than ever, especially in these times, making their bodies a living sacrifice, out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges with the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, which allows men to go into the scriptures and bring our understanding on a high level. And last but not least, a hearty shalom to the men of Valley Camp, New Jersey, NYC, DTA Camp, Jersey, NYC, Philly, Baltimore. First camp I ever heard the truth from. Isaiah 62, verses 6 through 7. Those that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, keep not silence. Give him no rest day or night. To Jerusalem is a praise in the earth. So this is Brother Ashamath. Back at it with another lesson through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This is going to be a response video to the beloved brother Gabar Adama's video he made earlier, the uh, beloved Big Bros video, Shalom. If you catch this lesson, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Brakata. We almost out of here, Lord's will. But um, this lesson was actually pretty touching. I, I watched it a couple times today, about two times. And um, it just shows that there's power in the name and in the names, you know? It also shows that our people, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, the elect, we, we say the hopeful elect because we don't know who the elect are, so on and so forth, um, need to hear this message. You know, it's the only message that will be able to heal them and be able to cleanse them, you know. I'm also going to play a clip from this video that went up last month from the GMS Tampa camp GMS Salt Ba is the page and uh, both of these videos are touching videos and with no further ado, no further rambling let's play these clips let's jump into the scriptures and Lord's will you'll find this lesson edifying and both comforting so I'm going to take these headphones off so y'all can hear this audio a little better Yes, sir. And, uh, and the true name, the true name 
uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. Yes, Yeshua. See that? Yeshua. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. say Yeshua. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeah. You can say it. Say it again. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Say it again. Yahweh Shai. That's right. Yeah, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. And, yes, and, and, uh, and the Father's name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You see that? Yahweh Shai. See that? Yes, sir. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey. Yahweh. And we Hebrew Israelites, man. Yes, sir. The so called Native Americans. The so-called Negroes and the so-called Hispanics. We, we are Israelites, man. See that? See that? Hey, and all this vexation in this world, uh, it, it's all getting ready to come to an end. And our enemies are going. Our enemies are going to feel Yahweh Bashim Yahushah and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Okay? You understand? So hey, it don't it don't matter it don't matter where we are. We all vex. All right. We all got problems, but we also have Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. You see that? You see that? We have your house by Shimmy House Shot. That's right, brother. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Right, right. Don't, hey, so don't, hey, don't never, don't never forget. Yes, sir. That we brothers, man. Yes, sir. All right? We brothers. All right? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, I'm glad, man. It's sometimes, man, it's been a long time. Right. It's just, you know, someone come up to me, man, because I be, I be trying to tell this truth, man. You know. Absolutely. You understand? People look at me like I'm crazy. They look like I can smell like doodle, but hey, it's okay, man, because Jesus, he, your house shot. Your house shot. Right. He works through anything, because he is the word. He is, he the, is word. the word. He's the man. word. Hey, John. Uh, uh, John. Uh, one verse one said he is the word. He is the and word. see, that's what we do. Uh, we, we go out and we preach on the street corners yes, sir, and, we, and we try to bid them to the marriage. That's what I you see? Do, that's you, what you, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, man. Abs yeah. Absolutely. You have a shot. You have a shot. I'm just, man, I'm just glory, man. And, uh, right. You know, the things that I've lost in the world, man. Right. Besides my children, you know, the materialistic things, man, it don't matter. None of them matter. Nothing matters. Right. But you have a shot. Right. The scripture, you know, that's matters. right. This, hey, the scripture said, uh, love not your life. Yes, sir. See, mm -hmm. but love not your life, man, mm -hmm. because the end is coming. Yes, sir. All right, He's and it, the beginning it, and the end. It, it, he is the beginning yes, and the end, and it's coming. And the enemies gonna end. We just begin. That's right. Yes, sir, That's right. And hey, yes, never forget that we have enemies. You see, all right. Yes, sir. Yeah, it just feels good. Right, right. It feels good because we all. I, I, I might get lonely sometimes, but I know you have a shot. It's been, right. And, and, and you know, it, it's been a long time since I felt that. You know, right. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out there, man. You're a true, a true brothers, man. That's right. Yes, sir. You how about you how about Hashem? You have a shot. Yes, sir. You how about Hashem? You have a shot. When you rode by that truck, I said something. He that brother special right there. You see? I knew it was you, right? You see that? that hey, man. I knew you know, it. I, I felt it. I, knew I felt it when I rode by you the first time. I said, man, that's that's a brother right there. You see? See? I know, man. That's right. I knew my family because we're royalty blood. Uh, that's right, Royalty. That's right. That's right baby. Now, Absolutely. My name is natural, man. Uh, man my name is Gabar Adama. Gabar Adama. That's my Hebrew name, man. Okay, but Gabar right. Adama. I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a try to find out. I, I'm, I'm very interested in that right. the Hebrew stuff. And, right. And, 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 and all that, because I know my Yahweh Sai, he got a name for me. Right. I know that it, it ain't the name that the man, you know, I know he got a name for me. Right. And um, like I said, Absolutely. I'm, I'm from Raleigh and I live the hospitality house. That was beautiful, man, how we just threw the jc name away like that start saying the name of the only begotten son naturally man beautiful house man i stay outside man or whatever man right but i know without a shadow of a doubt he's real he's oh he's real face. and he's coming he's coming yeah. that's right and he's coming brother he's coming okay you how about shimmy how shot all praise to you how about shimmy how shot man kwam yasarala man yes, see coming. Right. Angels, hey man, the scripture said when uh, when uh, two or more are gathered together, yes, and he is in the midst of us. Yes, sir. You know, his angels right are right in now. camp round about us. Okay? Right hey, so all right praise to you, how about Shimmy Shah for right. letting me meet this brother and let him get this word, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. And the elect are going to come from all walks of life, you know. Some of them may be homeless at the time, you know, when they hear the word. Some of them may, you know, be in a position where, you know, they're not in the true correct doctrine coming from Christianity, you know, Islam, coming from, you know, all sorts of lifestyles, gang banging. You know, scamming, robbing, stealing, you know. Some of them coming from the corporate world, 
you know, who have to humble themselves and realize that they don't have all the answers, you know, being doctors, lawyers, so on and so forth. Some of them coming from um, those actual theologian schools, you know, and drunk off the wine and philosophies of Babylon in the form of that JC juice. I don't even like to say those names anymore, you know, the Jebus juice, you know, the Jebus cross juice and have to and having to relearn everything that they were taught in those cemetery schools, man, you know, and in those Babylonian places of worship, which are in buildings and, you know, the most high does not dwell in temple and temples made with hands. You know, so let's play this second clip. Right, you say gonna cast our sins into the depths of the sea, man. Beautiful man. And, upon us. and like Apostle Tahar has coined, you know, the truth is more than um, fuck Esau all the time. You know, we're supposed to prophesy against Mount Seir. You know, that's our duties. As that's our duty as watchmen. You know, but another big portion of the duty of a watchman is to preach the word. And through preaching the word, you're going to actually wake up the elect and seal the elect. The spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshat, you know, and our people need to hear this message, man. And the only way that they're going to be cleansed is through the word, the physician, you know. It's the only one that can heal them, you know, of their sickness, of being blind spiritually, of being a leper, you know, so on and so forth. He will subdue, he will subdue our iniquity, and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. That's right. He said he's going to cast our sins into the depths of the sea, man. He said he's going to cast our sins into the depths of the sea, man. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Powerful. Beautiful. Let me put this headset on so y'all can hear me a little better. So let's go into the book of Acts 4 and 12. There it's like a neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved none other name the name of the only begotten son Yahweh Shai and the name of the heavenly father Yahweh those names are sacred those names have power in them you know, 
those names are the only way you're going to be delivered, you know, and count it worthy to see the salvation, you know, and to be numbered amongst the elect, you know. That's the only way you're going to be able to qualify is to have those names, you know. And to believe on the doctrine. And of course to be. Numbered amongst the elect. Which is. Predetermined. From the foundations of the earth. You know. But the only way you can actually qualify. You know. One of the only ways you can actually qualify. Better yet, is having the name. You know. Because it says in the book of Ecclesiasticus. 17 and 10. Let's see if it will pull up on my computer right here. And the elect. Shall praise his holy name. It didn't say the hopeful elect. It says the elect. So that's a qualifying factor. Is you have to have the name and the names. Let's go into the book of Psalms right here. Psalms. The 91st chapter. I'm going to start with one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, a secret place means that not everybody knows about it, you know? Pursuant to the book of Amos, you know? He revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. One of these secrets of the doctrine, one of the many secrets, is the name, you know? The main secret being the prophecies, but one of the other secrets of the doctrine is the name. You know, not everybody's going to believe when you tell them that the name isn't the JC word and the name isn't God. There's no O's in Paleo Hebrew, there's no U's in Paleo Hebrew, you know, there's no E's in Paleo Hebrew, you know. So the names can't be Jesus. Or it can't be God, because those letters don't exist in Paleo Hebrew, in the Lashawan Kwadash, the pure language. You know? So that's a secret. And what it, what I mean by secret is a lot of people aren't going to believe when you tell them that they're an Israelite. That means that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has blinded them, pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter, and around the ninth, tenth verse, you know? He's giving them the spirit of deep sleep. Isaiah 29 and 10, you know, because those things are secret. They're only for the elect, the hopeful elect, you know, going back into the book of Ecclesiasticus and the elect shall praise his holy name. Well, to qualify, you have to have the name. And Nate, if you catch this lesson. Somebody has those names right because this is here in Psalms. Let's read this. Psalms 91 and 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Somebody has to have the name and has to have it correctly. For this to be here. He shall call upon me. And I will answer him. I will be with him. In trouble. I will deliver him. And honor him. Well somebody has to have the name correct. To be delivered. And somebody's going to be delivered. And somebody's going to be praising. The holy name. In the holy tongue. And we believe. Through the spirit and power. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That we have a right from the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone to the elder bishops on down. Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name 
if thou canst tell. And this is in the Old Testament. You know, what is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. You know, a cut to all you Old Testament onlys. You know, one of many cuts that's in the Old Testament. And somebody has to have the name correct for this to be here as well. You know, that's why it says, if thou canst tell. And this is also a future prophecy in the form of nobody, uh, somebody's going to have the name incorrect. You know? Because it says, what is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Well, that means somebody's not going to be able to tell the name because they're not going to have it correct. Beautiful, man. You know? And there's power in the name of the only begotten son, you know? Going back into the book of Matthew 28 and 18, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me, roughly paraphrasing, you know? Yahweh Shai has the ultimate power in heaven and in earth because the heavenly father has given him that power and there's power in his name in the paleo hebrew you know and somebody's calling on the name correctly because in the book of baruch it says that let's read it baruch 2 30 through 32 for i knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves which is happening right now you know, you got brothers right here hearing the name and believing on it and calling upon it. You know, same with this brother right here, you know. Beautiful, man. And the elect, hopeful elect, they're going to come from all walks of life, man. You know, some of them may come up, uh, some of them may come up looking like homeless people. Some of them may come up looking rich, you know. Some of them actually may scoff at first, you know, and then start to believe after a while, you know. That's why you have to be mindful of, you know, how you're conveying the message and to be mindful that not all the elect are going to come from the same walk of life or have the same level of faith. You got to be patient with Jake, you know, to a certain extent. Let's go back into the scripture right here. Baruch 2 and 31. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. He'll take that spiritual block off you, you know, that a lot of our people have pursuant to Isaiah 6 and 9 and 10. Let's just get it. Some right here in Psalms. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Let's get all the meat off the bone. Yep. Yep. Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, but perceive not. Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart. The Hebrew word for heart is la'ab, their mind. And convert and be healed. And a lot of our people are not going to believe because Yahweh Shem Yahashai has made the heart of a lot of our people fat. The mind of our people fat so they can't you know understand you know let's read this again make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes which means they can't see they don't have the eye salve lest they see with their eyes the, you know, having eye salve having the ability to see to understand also the prophecies and hear with their ears 
and understand with their heart, their mind, and convert and be healed. A lot of our people have that spiritual blinder on them because Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has blinded them to fulfill the, the prophecy of people who can't tell. And the unbelievers in the last days, the scoffers, so on and so forth. Baruch 2 and 33. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Well, for this to be here, somebody has to have the name correctly. You know, correct. Somebody has to have the name correct. And somebody has to be uh, somebody has to be teaching it correctly, you know, in the land of their captivities. They shall remember themselves and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. There's power in the name, you know, because it says the elect shall praise his holy name. Well, elect means you have salvation. You know, and to qualify for salvation, you have to have the name. The book of John 12 and 28. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. And that's happening right now through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Ashai. Through the servants and the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Certain men have that name correct for the name to be glorified again. The Heavenly Father isn't going to step off his throne and go down and break down the name to you. You Old Testament heads, that's not going to happen, man. He's given that power to Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai gives that duty and office to the servants and the prophets. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai will do nothing. The Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Ancient of Days, is not going to step off his throne and go break down the mysteries to you. Surely the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. His secret. The secret is the prophecies but along with this along with the prophecies come the true understanding and to have the true understanding you have to have the name you know you have to believe in the name and call on those names those names are secret to the non-believers because Yahweh Bashim Shah has blinded them he's given them the spirit of deep sleep he's made their heart fat their mind fat, so it can't accept or believe the true message, man. And be blessed that you understand, you know. Blessed are your eyes, for they see. Blessed are your ears, for they hear, you know. Because not everybody gets this message, man. And call Halam La Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai for the Spirit to do this lesson and for the Spirit to believe and for the Spirit of understanding. You know, Ecclesiasticus 1 and 1, the prologue of Syrac. Let's read this part right here. Wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Well, the law itself, that's the doctrine. 
the doctrine, the word is Yahweh Shai. So if you're not speaking the Heavenly Father's Son's name in the pure language, then you're not going to have the same force in your message. You're not going to get the true blessing. You're not going to be eligible to be numbered amongst the elect because Ecclesiastes 17 and 10 says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Somebody has to have the name correct for that to be there, as well as a plethora of other precepts that hark on the importance of having the name, salvation, deliverance, protection, rulership. It all comes with being number amongst the elect, you know? Ano Arathaza, you're numbered. Ano Arathaza, I'm numbered. Let's get a few more of these precepts and wrap this up. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord, Yahweh Shai, give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, which is happening right now. You know, these two brothers saw their teachers, man. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. And ye shall hear a word. That word is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the word, you know, Revelation 19 and 13, John 1 and 1, you know. Let's go to the next precept. Oh, let's go. Yep. Let's get this next one right here. So Luke, the fifth chapter, 30 through 32. But their scribes and Pharisees murmured against the, his disciples, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Yahweh Shai answered, And Yahweh Shai answering, said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician but they that are sick. And the sick are the ones who need the physician, Yahweh Shai. Luke 5 and 32. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And that matches up with something else. Let's get a precept. Because the physician, Yahweh Shah, is the only one that can heal you, you know? And that's the word. Luke 4 and 18. This is also in the book of Isaiah 61 and, and 1 as well. It's worded a little different in Isaiah though. But Luke 4 and 18. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and set up and set and to set. That's like it to set at liberty them that are bruised. Let's get Isaiah 61 and 1 as well. Let's read this again. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and to set liberty them that are bruised the broken hearted from the curses man you know these two men were broken hearted man you know from the curses man and from being you know beat down by this captivity man this brother right here and this brother right here man beaten down from the curses man you know deliverance to the captives while we're in captivity right now paying tribute to the Modern day Romans, 
recovering of sight to the blind. Well, two thirds of our people are spiritually blind. They can't receive this message because Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has blinded them. And to set liberty them that are bruised. Our people are spiritually bruised, man. You know, from single parent homes, from drug infested communities, from some of them from being, uh, they may have been sexually abused as a child, you know, bruised from being basically slaves for Esau, you know, having to slave for a little pay, you know, bruised just from being beat down by this society, man, you know, women ruling over them, women being exalted, bruised from it all, man. We're right to the book of Isaiah. That's the spirit. Isaiah 61 and 1. Let's read both of them. It's beautiful right here. That's 51. Slack it. Stay patient. Isaiah 61 and 1. Slack it. Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And our people are mentally in prison, you know. And a lot of our people are actually physically in prison, you know. They are hidden in prison houses, so on and so forth. In the land of our captivity, broken hearted from the curses, bruised from the curses, you know, and that's who he, that's who uh, Yahweh Shai came for, man, you know. Let's go back to the book of Luke and read this again. And Yahweh Shai answered, and Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. And our people are sick, man. They need that physician. They need to be healed through the word, man. Washed via the word. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And we were all sinners before we heard this word, man. You know? And you still may go off here and there. You know, that's a part of the walk. But not to, It's the, the goal is not to dwell in sin, you know? A righteous man will fall seven times, roughly paraphrasing, man. Let not your sins weigh you down, you know. That's a part of the fight. You have to war with the flesh, man. You know, and the flesh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, it'll beat you down, man. But get up, keep on fighting. Stay on your feet and endure to the end, you know. Revelation 21 and 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and in the kingdom Yahweh Bashim Yashai will wipe all tears from our eyes man there'll be no more death no nor sorrow you know nor crying you won't have to be under the curses you know, you'll be in rulership, man. You know? Nations paying tribute. You know? If you're part of the first dominion, you know, you'll actually have heathens in subjection, man. And hardcore slavery. Putting hell on them, man. You know? And our people won't have to... You won't have to look at your people in that dumbed down, you know, messed up estate, man. All Israel will be righteous, man. You know, last couple of precepts, and those where you found this lesson edifying and comforting. Ecclesiasticus ten and ten, the physician cutteth off a long disease, and he that is a that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. Let's read this again. Ecclesiasticus ten and ten, the physician cutteth off a long disease. And he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. And 
Yahweh uh, like Yahshai will cut off the long disease being Esau, you know? And that disease is infecting our people, man. You know? Enhancing the punishment of the curses on us, man. You know? Esau is the reason why you got Planned Parenthood in your neighborhood, man. You know, Esau is the reason why the woman, you know, the nigga woman, thinks that she can run shit, man. You know? That queen of heaven spirit. Esau is the reason why you have white Jebus. You know, Esau is the reason why... I'll, our people, you know, think that all nations, you know, can partake in this, man. That's the philosophy of the serpent, man. You know, that's the philosophy of the devil, man, the deceiver, the adversary, you know. And through this word being preached, you know, that physician is cutting off Esau spiritually, you know, from our people, man, cutting that disease off. Healing them, you know? But upon his return, he's going to cut that disease off physically. And Esau, who is a king today, you know, tomorrow, he's going to be out of here, man. You know? So let's read this again and close on out. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 10. The physician cutteth off a long disease. And he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. And rightfully so. You know? So, Lord, so you found this lesson edifying and comforting. And uh, the truth is more than, you know, fuck Esau all the time. It's about healing and sealing the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai with the word, the physician, you know, the one. That has the power to heal and to cut off, you know. Luke, you know, the uh, the fifth chapter, you know, that physician, you know. So, uh, in closing out, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Israel, a.k.a. the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well with sound doctrine. Shalom to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to all the sincere Akiam and Akwath who do subscribe to this truth. A hearty shalom to the men out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges, preaching and teaching in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and risking their freedom, now more so than ever especially in these times, making their bodies a living sacrifice out there on the highways and byways, highways and hedges with the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, which allows men to go into the scriptures and bring out understanding on a high level. And last but not least, a hearty shalom to the men of Valley Camp, New Jersey, NYC, DTA Camp, Philly, Baltimore, Jersey, NYC. First camp I ever heard the truth from, Isaiah 62, Verses 6 through 7. Those that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, keep not silence. Give him no rest day or night. To Jerusalem is a praise in the earth. So, Lord's will, you found this lesson edifying and comforting. And until next time, Lord's will, Shalom. DTA, Ababa Ba. Soon. Soon, soon, soon.